hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model this wooden bucket using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you if you want to practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscriber so if you found this video and this project file helpful for you so make sure you share my videos and subscribe my channel like this video as well so now let's start the video so here you can see guys i have created this bucket and uh, for making this bucket i have created one shape here here you can see and i will also show you how you can make this shape okay and i use one default add-on it's called uh, tissue add-on and uh, i will also show you how you can use this tissue add-on and how you can create this kind of bucket so now start a tutorial so first of all i'm just going to uh, delete everything selecting everything okay and start a new file like this yeah and then i will add one plane here first of all and after that i will go to the edit mode of this plane and going to uh, subdivide it three time one two three so after that i will delete those faces i'm going to select those faces and going to delete it yeah something like that so after deleting the, those faces so we have a, that kind of shape here so now i'm just going to select that face and that face and going to bring little bit upside point one yeah and i will select both faces as well and i want to bring downside minus point one yeah so if you see in the left view so it will look like this and if you want to make this pattern as a seamless pattern so what you have to do for that you have to just select this edge okay and uh, bring it little bit up point zero one yeah and same thing you have to uh, bring it this edge down minus zero one so now if you'll see it here so it, so it start from the ground and uh, touch the ground here and, uh, and same thing is happening with this plane as well okay so now this uh, become a seamless so after that we need one more duplicate of this so for that i'm just going to select everything and going to duplicate shift d and then i'm just going to rotate it something like this yeah i think that's fine okay and then i'm just going to move this here minus 0.1 yeah, maybe you can take uh, minus 0.1 5 as well huh, I think that's fine and you can move this little bit upside as well so it should be 0 0.1 yeah I think that's fine okay so now it's looking perfect so after selecting the all edge I'm just going to do control B so if you bevel do like that it will uh, going to distract your surface so if you want to do constant so you have to just press the C and up. yeah okay so our bevel is complete and uh, so after complete the bevel so i'm just going to add the shade smooth on it so it will look like this okay so now i'm just going to keep it beside for a while and now i'm just going to make a shape of bucket so for that i'm just going to add one cube here and then i will go to the edit mode of this cube and selecting the top face and going to delete this top face and then uh, I will add the one subdivision modifier pressing the control 2 and uh, here you can see now we have a subdivision modifier here then I will go to the edit mode of this uh, cube and adding the one supporting as loop here for this base okay and then I will select this top edge and going to scale it something like this okay so it depend on you uh, what kind of design you need and what kind of shape you need okay so right now I'm just going to show you how you can make this wooden bucket easily so i think that's fine to me and if you want to increase the viewport level from the here so you can increase it and after that make sure you apply this uh, modifier and then uh, you have a uh, enough mesh on your bucket okay so then what you have to do you have to just go to the edit preference and here you have to just search in that add-on it's called tissue t-i-s-s-u -S -S so here you can see now we have a one tissue add on here so i'm just going to check it here and after that make sure it, you check also this auto save preference 
and then I will uh, press the N on your keyboard and on the edit section here you can see we have a tissue okay tissue tool so now what we have to do so first of all I'm just going to select this shape and then I'm just going to select this bucket and uh, make sure before applying the tissue make sure you apply the scale okay yeah something like this so after that you have to click on this tessellate and when you click on this tessellate we have a lots of options here okay and here you can see if I click on the advanced settings so here we have a lots of option as well and uh, if you want the separate video about the all uh, tissue options so make sure you comment below okay so right now what we have to do we have to just click on this small section and here we have to uh, define the distance as well so by default is set on 0 0.001 so it's fine okay and here you have to enable the shade smooth as well so after that you have to just click on the ok so when you click on the ok so here you can see now we have a copy of this cube so here you can see this is our original cube and this is a tessellate object okay so if i will hide this uh, cube here so here you can see now we have a uh, tessellate object and now we have a perfect shape here as well okay and then what you have to do you have to just uh, go to the modify section and from here you have to add one modifier it's called solidify modifier so when you add the solidify modifier it will look like this and make sure you change this simple to complex yeah and it look fine you can change the boundary to round okay so here you can see our basket shape is ready so after that I'm just going to make this boundary shape so for making this boundary shape what I will do I'm just going to add one torus here from the hair and uh, you can decrease the radius of this torus so right now I'm just going to take this 0 0.5 I think that's fine and make sure you scale it something like that and okay and after that you have to just apply the scale pressing the con control A yeah and when you do this so you have to do same thing select this object then select this torus and go to the tessellate and click on the merge smooth shade smooth and just click on the ok so when you do this so same thing will happen here as well we have a, a copy of this torus so we have to just uh, disable this torus uh, copy ok and after that what I will do I am just going to add the same uh, solidify modifier here and make simple to complex and change the boundary to round and I am just going to decrease the thickness so I think that's fine ok so here you can see our upper side shape is also done so then I will add one plane here and after that I am just going to scale it little bit more and then I am just going to add one edge loop in between here and then I am just going to bevel it control B and then I will select the face mode and then I am going to do inverse selection and going to delete these selected faces so now we have a that face here so what I am going to do I am just going to keep it little bit upside and then I'm just going to edit mode of this plane and select the side edges and just extrude it downside something like that okay and I think we should scale it a little bit more yeah that's fine and then what we have to do we have to just uh, extrude this edge inside something like that and same thing I will do here as well select this edge and extrude inside something like that and if you want to increase the height of this so you can, can increase this something like that as well and you can add one edge loop in between here and uh, then you can just drag it this and now I'm just going to do bevel this part so doing the bevel you can use this and then you have to select the side edges and control B and here you can see I think that's fine so our handle is also ready after that you can add the solidify modifier here as well and increase the thickness and here you can see right now we don't have a equal thickness here so for that we have to change the simple to complex and you will get the equal thickness here okay so our mounting part is done so now I'm just going to add the texture on it right now here you can see we don't have any texture in our object so what we have to do we have to add the texture on it and then we will do refresh and it will uh, whatever uh, whatever changes we will do here it will automatically uh, show in this bucket okay so for that what we have to do I have to just select this one and I'm just going to add the one texture on it which is I have already created okay 
it's called beech wood okay so here you can see we have that beech wood texture and you will also get this texture along with this project file so make sure you download this project file okay so here you can see guys we have added texture on it but we we can't see the uh, texture on this bucket so for that what we have to do basically we have to just select this bucket and then we have to go to the object data property and here you will see that tissue uh, tessellate section from here you have to just do click on the refresh and when you click on the refresh it will automatically show here here you can see now we have a texture on it okay and uh, if you do refresh here as well so you, we will see also here here you can see okay but there is one problem uh, we can see the texture here, here very nicely but here we can't see the texture properly so for that what we have to do we have to just apply this uh, solidify modifier and after that and after that you have to go to the edit mode of this bucket and then you have to just select the all faces and after that you have to just uh, press the U and from here you have to do the cube projection and when you do cube projection so here you can see now we have a texture on our bucket as well and it's perfectly working and you can do same thing with this part as well okay and for this handle i have already created one texture so it's called a uh, bamboo panel double so here you can see it's look like this and that same problem is happening here so what you have to do you have to just select the all the handle and then press the q and do q projection so here you can see it will look perfectly all the sides okay so here you can see our modeling and texturing both thing is done and after that you have to just add the light on your scene and then you have to just hit the f12 and when you hit the f12 you will see something like this and uh, so that's how you can make the wooden bucket in the blender using the tissue add-on so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply your comment and make sure to download this project file and share this video and like as well and subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next one so bye bye take care and stay home guys